Mabuhay. My name is Fred Doc Dossel with Mabuhay Credit Union, and it is my pleasure to welcome you all back to another episode of Mabuhay Community Corner. If you haven't visited with Mabuhay Community Corner in the past, this is a vlog and a podcast that aims to highlight and to honor the various segments of our Mabuhay community. Here with us today is Luella Cabalona, the president of the Filipino Young Leaders Program. Lou, thank you so much for joining us today. How, how, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. And thank you, Fred, for inviting me here. Welcome right. to all the viewers. Hi, hello. Yes, it's, it's, it's absolutely my pleasure. I, uh, I, I always acknowledge the fact that PhilPro is a proof that, that I'm still young. <laughs> but, but anyways, uh, if, if you don't mind, Luella, uh, can you tell us um, who and what PhilPro is? How it got started? Sure, yeah. The Filipino Young Leaders Program is a 501c3 not-for-profit uh, that actually stemmed out of a project of the former ambassador Jose Luis Quisha in 2012. Um, it was his best, sort of like a pet project along with wife uh, Dita Vicky Quisha. Um, and I was fortunately one of the inaugural delegates of an immersion trip to the Philippines in 2012. Uh, so for three years during his term, we had the opportunity to select about 10 young leaders every year to go to this immersion trip that is life-changing. It's very transformative. And so in 2015, at the time when he was leaving his post, four batches of alumni came together to continue this legacy, which is now Phil Pro. Nice. And, and I can definitely attest to when you mentioned that that uh, immersion trip is a transformative experience. I, I was fortunate enough to be uh, one of the ba one of the delegates from batch 2019. Uh, so it's, it's an amazing experience to reconnect with the roots. Right now, you, you talked about, you know, every year there's you know, roughly 10 uh, delegates over the course of the years. How, how many total alumni have there been? And you know, how kind of like, can, can you explain to us the breadth of their expertise, their, their fields of expertise? Yeah, sure. So, so in total, we've had nine batches because we didn't have, we deferred the immersion program last year. So total of nine batch, no, eight batches that is, and it's 84 alumni with the last batch having 14 delegates. Um, in terms of industry, it's a wide variety, and I think that's the one of the one of the unique attributes of this non-for-profit organization because it's not industry based. It's also not school based. So you've got teachers and nurses alongside businessmen and lawyers and judges and uh, people in tech and creatives as well. So it's a wide breadth of expertise that you will find all. Um, all young leaders between the ages of 25 to 40 at the time that they were selected. And so I, I really am very proud of this group of individuals that are all high-performing leaders in our community. And it's, it's a pleasure that we get to be in a space where we can share our advocacies and you know, our passions as well. That's, I completely agree with that. Absolutely, yes. Now, you know, what, what you just described right now over the past, this is a ninth year now. This is obviously, it's a huge undertaking. Who, um, you know, outside of PhilPro, uh, who are some of the partners that, that helps make this possible? Well, I'm glad you asked, right? Because it's it would not have been possible if not for the many partners that we've had over the years. Um, but w the the couple of, of institutional partners that we've had that we have to mention all the time is obviously the Department of Foreign Affairs and in the US that is led by the office of the, the Philippine Embassy in Washington DC with Ambassador Jose Manuel Ramwald is at the helm. And on our Manila side, we have Ayala Foundation Incorporated headed by Ruel Maranan. But over the years and through their connections, we've had many, uh, many sponsors, many partners as well, including PAL, Philippine Airlines, right, FINMA, Makati Business Club. And so there's a host of other big organizations that support 
failed girl from the other side of the world be? So needless to say, it takes a community uh, to, to make this happen, right? So that's that's absolutely exciting. And, and the end result of it is, you know, allowing these young Filipino American leaders here in the U.S. an opportunity to visit the motherland uh, and really have that tangible connection uh, to, you know, to what they're working uh, towards helping, right? Yeah, and, and I, might, well, I might also want to add that you've experienced this, Fred, right? We try to make sure that all aspects of, you know, civil life in the Philippines, right? Civilian life, I should say, in the Philippines is, is um, touched upon, right? We have, we have a business day for, for folks that are entrepreneurial, want to see the landscape of the business in the Philippines. You also have a government day where we, they get to see our government leaders at work, either on, you know, the, in the judicial or the executive or even in local government. And then we have culture day, media day. So they get the taste of the Philippines in a way that they probably would not have experienced it if they went home with their families to go on vacation. That's absolutely true right there. I mean, that cross section that that trip, you know, allowed us to experience that's as eye-opening of a trip as you're going to get in, you know, in a week's time, right? So again, I'm definitely grateful for, for Philpro to, you know, for providing that to our young leaders. Now, you talked about how last year um, we've kind of had to defer the immersion trip, right? Uh, can you share with us how Philpro has, has pivoted in the midst of a global pandemic? Uh, how did we adapt to, you know, to the new normal? brought about by, uh, you know, COVID-19. Yes, for sure. So, I mean, as, as a, a group of individuals that are very connected to the community, of course, one of our main priorities is to ensure that we have, that we are giving our support back to the Filipino American community, to the Asian American community in, in the places that we live, in the communities that we thrive in. And so, I think one of the highlights of last year to make lemonades out, lemonade out of lemons, right? Um, we've we've uh, initiated what is called the COVID task force early in the year, like about a month after we all got sent home to work from home for the rest of the year till now. Um, we created a COVID task force, and that is, of course, uh, led by our VP now, Lizel Tanglao. And she has, um, with the support of the whole group, taken on a, um, a big project to bring IO Help Desk, which is an online platform to give uh, information and services uh, to the community on COVID awareness, issues about the vaccine, you know, and things like that. So it's, that's been very helpful. And, and again, I should also mention that um, in the history of Philpro, it was through COVID task force that we were able to get a grant from Booz Allen for the first time for 25000 So that kind of opens up doors to more possibilities for Philpro. I, I would I'll mention too that on the other side, while we were making sure that we were addressing the issues of the community at, that are plaguing us even at this moment, right? We also looked internally and took the advantage of all of us being at home and at least during that time had a little bit more free time, right? Uh, to look internally into the organization and try to understand what we really wanted to do as an organization in the next five, 10 years. And that, uh, as you might have known it already, is the strategic planning that we took on um, in the second half of the year that is actually guiding the direction of Philpro this year and the years to come. And, and I think through that strategic planning, we will be able to see Philpro give back more to the community because we have a specific direction that will actually enable us to help, help the global Filipino community. Amazing. I mean, I definitely like the fact that the organization as a whole <clears throat> was quick to adapt 
uh, to, to the changing environment. Uh, and, you know, you talked about the Tayo help desk. Mabuhay Credit Union is, is really thankful to have had the opportunity to, to collaborate with Tayo and honoring our, uh, you know, our frontliners, our medical frontliners here uh, in the South Bay, Los Angeles area. So, again, hats off to you and the entire uh, PhilPro organization for, for everything that you do. And thank you. Now, you know, <laughs> absolutely. So I'm really glad that we, we had this opportunity to, to help enlighten our viewers about the amazing PhilPro program uh, and how these young Filipino leaders serves our Mabuhay community. Do, do you have any parting words, Luella, for our audience before uh, we wrap up here? Oh, yeah, definitely. So, um, like I said, in, in being true to responding to the needs of the community, I think we all are aware of the recent um, incidents that have plagued our Asian American community with the rise of anti-Asian uh, hate crimes that, um, you know, that we are hearing about almost every day. And um, to answer that, Philpro is supporting and participating in the top Asian hate day of action uh, on Friday, um, March 26. Um, and on that uh, evening at 9 p.m., we will have what we're calling Here Now Confronting Anti-Asian Hate, which is a panel discussion with a lot of our Philpro alumni hosted by GMA Public Affairs' uh, Howie Severino. So this, this uh, show, if you want to call it, that is going to be live on Facebook on our pages. That's uh, facebook.com slash philpro. But it will also be available on cable on GMA Pinoy TV as well as GMA News. I'm hoping um, soon, like maybe, maybe next week. And I think what we're going to do is just post on our page when it's actually going to be available so viewers of GMA Pinoy TV and GMA News can catch it. But it's a very important conversation that must be had and we want to surface what our young leaders are doing, how we can actually act and, uh, and help, help and be together in stopping Asian hate. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you so much again. That there you have it, folks. If, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to our channel to follow our show, as well as the rest of the content that we put up. Now, in closing, allow me to share today's penny for your thoughts, which is once again courtesy of the Philippine national hero, Dr. Jose P. Rizal. The youth is a hope of our future. Salamat, stay safe, and mabubay.